Hi there, my name is Alana and today we're going to be taking a look at Hermes's latest beauty launch. Now if you recall, last year Hermes launched the beautiful lipstick line and this year, this month, this week in fact, they have launched their brand new blushes. Now from a brand like Hermes, these are not cheap and these are actually the most expensive blushes I have ever put on my face. I want to tell you a little bit about this launch, then we are going to try the two blushes on, and then we're going to chat a little bit more about them. These new beauty products are made in France, and in each blush you will get 6 grams of product. The compact and blush together retail for $103 Canadian or $77 US dollars. And just so you know, these compacts are refillable. Refills cost 43 US dollars, and I have not been able to find the refill price for Canada. However, we all know what the US exchange rate is. And every blush in the collection starts with the name Rose. So I have Rose Ombre and Rose Poufre, and we're gonna speak about those in a moment. But this line, there are nine shades, eight shades available everywhere, and one shade that is an Asia exclusive, sort of. Again, we will get to that, but there is every shade of pink cover. There's apricot, coral, nudes, pinks, and there are some deeper pinks. One thing I really liked on the Hermes website is that some of the deeper pinks were modeled by models with deeper complexions. So I really do think that there is a pink from Hermes for everybody. The launch also includes three sheer matte lip enhancers. And while I was tempted by the medium or the deeper shade, uh, unfortunately they only had the apricot shade left and I just thought that that would be too light on me and not particularly flattering, so I did pass on that. The line also included two brushes. Now, there is a goat hair brush, that's a full size brush, I'll pop it over here. That is 100 US dollars, so I would estimate about 130 Canadian. There's also a travel brush, that is a synthetic brush, it's a lot smaller, again I'll pop it up here, that was 66 Canadian dollars. So if I can find the US price, I will pop it over there for you as well, but I believe it was approximately 50. So the two shades that I have to share with you are Rose Ombre and Rose Pouvre. Rose Ombre is available worldwide and Rose Pouvre is an Asia exclusive. However, I purchased Rose Pouvre from Holtz on Bloor Street in Toronto and the team there was able to get a limited stock to be available in Canada. So when I heard that they had got a hold of the exclusive shade, of course I had to have it. The other thing that I found really cool about the launch is that the lipsticks that they launched last year were inspired by the colors in Hermes Silk and the blush was inspired by their texture. Hermes makes the most beautiful silks, their iconic scarves and twillies. I have a few of their scarves, they're so beautiful, I've got a few on my wish list. And I just love how true to their brand and how true to their style they were with this launch. So let's put these blushes on my face and then we're going to chat a little bit more about them. So I wanted to get us nice and close for this arguably most important portion. We're actually going to try on the blushes. So just so you know what's on my base, I'm wearing the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation, one of my favorite everyday foundations. A really nice normal base for everyday, not too matte, not too full coverage, not too luminous, just I think when I was trying to think of what is the most neutral foundation that I could use to put this on top of, this one immediately came to mind. Obviously my eyes and lips are done and then I'm wearing concealer and I have put in a little bit of my cream contour from Charlotte Tilbury just in here and up here and the reason I did that is I don't see the point of just swatching the blush for you because I want you to see what it would actually look like as a part of your makeup routine. So let's get started. Okay, so my blushes came all packaged up with the little bow, so I have two to share with you. And there is the little Hermes box. Ooh, slide it out, okay. And the blush, and then it just opens up like this. So the two shades I have for you are Rose Ombre and Rose Pouvre. Off the bat, Rose Ombre looks a little bit more neutral and Rose Pouvre a little bit more pink. I'm going to be putting one on each side of my face so you can see how they compare. I have my MAC 116 brush.
So that is one coat, so nothing and one coat. That's so beautiful. Okay, let's do a second one. And there is the second coat. So again, that is Rose Ombre. Now for Rose Pouvre, which is, I think, a little bit more pink. And I'm not sure it's picking up well on camera, but it's almost a touch, almost a touch more corally. And for this, I have my Sephora brush number 73. So there is one coat of Rose Pouvre. And let's do one more. And we have Rose Poop right here. So it's the cooler, more neutral Rose Ombre on this side and Rose Poop right on this side. Off the bat, definitely Rose Ombre, a little bit more cool tone, more neutral, very much an Alana blush. It, off the bat, it sort of reminds me of Tarte Exposed in terms of the color. Now on this side, we have Rose Poivre. I think it's a little bit more pink, a little bit more youthful, very, very pretty for springtime. I think it's just a question of what you prefer. I wouldn't necessarily call this a warm tone, although it is warmer than Rose Ombre. I would just say it's a little bit more of a vibrant, almost corally pink. So this is Rose Pouvre, and this is Rose Ombre. I think that gives you a good sense of how much more neutrally nude Rose Ombre is compared to the more pinky coral of Rose Pouvre. And you can just hear that weightiness of the magnet as the compact comes back together. You have sort of an acrylic creamy white up here with the Hermes stamp, which you also see reflected on the top of their lipstick. And then the back, you have a sticker, which that's fine, whatever. You have a sticker on a brushed gold. I want to say the bottom of the compact is metal. It definitely, the bottom of the compact has a lot more heft to it than the top. And then you have it enveloped in a sort of a shiny black plastic case there and a really nice mirror. So these blushes are semi-matte. They're meant to just kind of meld in with your skin. They're not too much. I think one um, criticism that a lot of luxury houses get when they launch makeup is that people will say that it's not very pigmented or it's not the most pigmented product they've tried. And I have to say, I don't think that that's the point. I think that especially with all these fashion houses, they're looking for effortless, uh, generally a lot of the fashion houses are French, just that effortless kind of French girl beauty pretty, soft, something that I can wear at 27, something my mom can wear, something my grandma can wear. What I really love about the soft matte texture is I do think it'll be flattering on younger skin, but I think it'll also be flattering on more mature skin. So Rose Pouvre is described as a soft pink that is at once vivid and understated, muted and elegant. So Rose Ombre, which is this side of my face, is described as a subtle celestial pink in a chiarusco between shade and color. I found these blushes incredibly easy to build up. I opted for just two coats, but you could do three or four, or 19 if you wanted, but I found that two coats gave me the look I was looking for. Just something that is soft, sculpted, elegant, and just brings that life back into my face. So one thing that Hermes did note is that these are designed to be travel friendly. And while that is a very lovely concept, I don't travel with my most luxurious of makeup because I am terrified of it breaking. And also, when I went on my bachelorette trip a number of years ago now, um, I actually lost my luggage and my makeup bag was in it, and so I lost a lot of makeup in that. Um, so I would say that while you can travel with this, it's not a choice I would make. I prefer to travel with my more affordable products, so if I lose them or something happens to them, then I'm not devastated. Having tried these and had a chance to look deeper onto the website, 
I would love to pick up Rose Tan and maybe even the Apricot shade. I think those two both look beautiful. I would love to add them to my collection. But when I was deciding what I was going to buy for this video, I really just wanted to get two. And the two I got sort of happened by accident. So my essay at Hermes, when she was texting me about the launch and having looked at everything, I thought I would just get one because I wanted Rose Pouvre, but it wasn't going to be available in Canada. So I selected Rose Ombre because I thought it was just, I thought the shade that would look the most flattering on me and the most true to my taste. And I think that does hold up. But then uh, the Hermes Beauty Count Artful Renfrew did a little virtual online event that they invited me to participate in for shoppers. And they mentioned that they had the Rose Pouvre shade. And I was like, well, how is that a question? Let's get both. So I probably wouldn't have purchased, I think these two shades are pretty similar. So if I could have, I would have swapped out probably Ombre for Rose Tan. However, they were completely sold out at Hermes on Bloor Street. So it was basically, I'd already put in my order for this one. So that is what I was getting. So no complaints at all, but I just wanted to sort of share how that happened. And just overall, I think the formula is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to add more to my collection. And I'm glad that these are permanent because I don't feel like I have to go and buy them all tomorrow. You know, it gives me something to sort of maybe look forward to in the fall or later in the summer, like popping in and just sort of grabbing one and building my collection over the course of time. Now, I just want to put this out there. You do not need these blushes. They are not necessary. They are beautiful, but there are plenty of other beautiful blushes and I'm sure you have plenty of beautiful blushes in your own collection. If you're a collector, if you're someone who's excited about the brand like myself, then of course get it and enjoy them. But you know, luxury is not a necessity and you are going to be able to get a similar look from so many other products. Hey guys, wanted to do a quick check-in. It's about 11.30 at night and the blush looks fantastic. I don't have my ring light on right now, but it looks just so beautiful. I do my other two pieces of studio lighting though. Rose Ombre here looks incredible and Rose Pouvre just has such a pretty flush of pink. I think they both look so pretty. I was up close with my mirror, just about to take my makeup off. And one, I remembered to film the wear test, but two, I was just like, this looks incredible. I am so happy with the quality of these blushes. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They've been on for a while. And I think the hardest part is just gonna be resisting buying all of them. So I do wanna get Rose Tan next, but I am so happy with how these look. Just such a beautiful natural look on the skin and on the foundation. So I think I might've found a new favorite. So those are my thoughts. That is my review. I, I hope you found it helpful. I hope it's giving you a good chance to compare what the shades might look like on you. And if you love luxury beauty, luxury makeup, and you love luxury handbags, then please subscribe because I'm going to be unboxing what's in that bag. And let's just say it's not a blush. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.